Hey, what's going on guys? It's B-Doggy here, and we're just flying through the jungle once again. And I have been busy, and I have made some changes to the base, or at least well, the start of it. So if we look down here, you can see, oh, what's this dirt right here? And if I can just land on the tree, I can probably explain it a little bit better. That right there, that that's going to be a river. And I'm thinking maybe a waterfall right there. Not sure. And we're going to have some land here. Not sure what I'm going to do with it, but that is going to be filled in with dirt and probably have something on it. And I have done the same exact thing for the other side. If we can just make it on over, you can see we have another river going through. And this one, I don't want to lead up to a waterfall there. I kind of want to slope through the entire base which will be continuing on that way but for now this is what we have and as you can tell more land to work with so yeah I'm pretty happy with the changes I've made it does mean this terraforming out front's definitely gonna at least be changed so that's one thing to look forward to I've also been keeping up with my shops and also went you know mining for some ancient debris so we're sitting pretty good with 28 ancient debris and 26 diamond blocks. I'm happy with that amount. It's nothing crazy, but again, it's also not lackluster, so I'm happy. The roads have come a long ways. Now we have roads to my shop with the ever-growing review board. I stocked that up pretty recently. And coming on over to my... I can't even remember what this place is called. Oh yeah, coming over to Sticks and Stones. I've restocked this place up a little bit. I still need some cobble and I still need, uh, not gravel, I need andesite. I'm out of andesite. I uh, just put some more wood in and some stone. But yeah, I'm really liking the paths and it's really making this place feel more complete. But I think it's time to get back to the base once again. So now back here at the base, the vines are looking all long, so I think I'm going to fix that real quick. That looks a little better. It's a little shorter there. Maybe too short by the waterfall, but overall, I'm happy with it. It looks a lot better. But to get on with the actual base, I, well, first of all, let me get up in the air, but as I'm getting to that, I kind of don't really have any idea for what I want to build right here. Right there. I don't know what I want to build. And over here, I'm thinking about making a farming type area. So I'm thinking maybe what if I do that over here as well. Not sure, it's just an idea, but I'm gonna get designing. So before we actually get crazy with making a farm type stuff, let's just fill the platform in. That way we can actually see what space we have to work with. Visualize a little better. So yeah, I'm gonna get cracking with that and I'll see you once I'm done. And the final few blocks are going in right now, and we are done. And that went through most of my well, most of my dirt reserve, but now we have this blank slate and I can actually figure out what I want to do with the space. And so I think I'm going to pop into my creative testing world and just get a feel for how big some of the houses I've designed are. See how well they'll fit and patch up these holes right here. But yeah, meet you in my creative testing world right about now. So here in my creative testing world, I have a few templates made out. You know, they're not all perfectly 100% done, but it's just the look, the design about how I want to look like. So this one I actually modeled off a YouTube video. I do not remember who, so I cannot give any credit, but I did make a few changes. This one, all the other ones I've made by myself. We have a little, <laughs> we have a little cottage right here. I, I'm not too happy with that one, but it's this one and this one that I'm really happy with. This is like, I don't know. I I just love this one. I actually made this for a different world that I had, but just never really went through making it. So I really want to build this one, and I think this one would also fit in quite nicely. They're all little, just little quaint Japanese style houses, and even this one would fit in quite nicely. So, yeah, I'm just going to take a look at how big they are and see if I can't fit them in on the world. Or, not the world, but the server. Yeah. So, I've done a little bit more than design. I have gotten this place ready. 
I've marked out some locations for a few buildings up there. We're going to have a pathway that goes through there. And yeah, I've, I've moved the river slightly so it's over there, not interfering with that building. And I've also placed down the piece of grass which already is spread by one block. And I'm just curious, how far will the grass spread for like, if I'm away for like half an hour? Turns out it doesn't go that far. Alright, so thanks to the magic of editing, I have a bunch of materials now and I want to start building this place up. I want to get these buildings in at least these two bottom ones, maybe that tower over there if I have enough resources. But yeah, we'll start building this and I'll see you once I'm done. And now the house is done and I, I just love it. And Oh, I did not want- I'll take the gunpowder, but I didn't want any of that, but yeah, I just love it. It looks so nice, it looks so clean, and it really fits the style that I'm looking for. And so with this one done, why not work on the second one, and I'm not going to make it progress updatey like I did for this one. Just going to build that one. So yeah, I'll see you once that one's done. And now with the second house done, I'm just thinking how epic this place is going to look a little bit. terraforming, some nice path work up into that area, build in that tower, build in that house, but let's just focus on this thing. It's a small little house and probably should close that. I mean, it's just a little, little house. There's no interior. Haven't done an interior on either of them. And I should probably show you the back of this thing because it's also quite intriguing. It's a little different. We got a little deck and we also have a slightly different roof on the back than on the front so we have that little jut out area and yeah I'm super excited for the way that this base is turning out and I just can't wait to see where it goes but that's all the time we have for this episode thank you for watching if you did like it please don't forget to like and subscribe it would really help me out and yeah it's in and I'll see you next time bye